Reading is fun and math is great, but now it's time for Art with Miss Kate. Wow, thank you. Today's theme song was on a kalimba, which we sometimes call a thumb piano, from the country of Zambia. Very cool. Buenos dias, artistas. Hello, artists. Today, Emmy Lou, the art dog, and I are going to teach you how to do a very cool chalk stencil project. It looks tricky, but it really isn't. Here's a finished one that is horizontal. And I'm just going to use sidewalk chalk. Works perfectly well. Here's one that is vertical. I'll let you look at it for a minute. And then I want to show you one where I went at it from all four sides. Here, this one. And I'll show you how to do that. And we had some technical problems today, so I'm going to show you my first one that isn't finished to give you yet another visual. Not finished. Okay. So, I'm going to take my same stencil paper and tear a stencil here to show you how. If tearing a stencil is hard for you or gives you anxiety or stress, just go ahead and cut it. It doesn't matter. I'm just like a big torn paper lover. I love torn paper collage, torn paper weavings. I like how um, kind of accidental it is and sort of randomy. but if that bugs you, cut it. I do not want art at home to be stressful. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to take a chalk. And I'm going to rub away from my body, up. I'm not going to apply any chalk to the paper on the downstroke because it will probably go underneath the stencil. And if that happens, it's not the end of the world. Keep going. You do not need to start over because you make a mistake. We had to start over because we cut off the video, that's all. Okay. Now I put a towel on my finger and I also rub only in the up direction. If you rub down toward yourself, same thing will probably happen. You'll probably go underneath the stencil by accident, okay? So, here's what it looks like. Isn't that cool? It's almost kind of like magic. A lot of times art is almost kind of like magic. Now I'm going to take a cool color. You do not have to alternate warm cool if you don't want to. I'm doing it because I think it will show up better on the video for you. I'm learning little by little that subtle doesn't film very well. For instance, yesterday my value study, I think some of it was too subtle and you couldn't see it very well and I apologize for that. But I didn't have time to redo all my examples. So now I put my finger on a new spot. Okay? If I put it on the old spot, it might mix together too much. But if you want that, if you want it to look totally mixed, go for it. You're the artist, you can do all of these lessons the way you see fit. Okay? So there we go. Now, it's going to make some chalk like that. I just do this, let it land on the table, and later on I will clean it with a sponge and make sure the chalk goes into my hand and not all over my floor. Now I'm going to turn it this way. If you want to keep going all one direction, you may. I just like to show you as many choices as I can in every lesson. Now I'm going to do this. And I'm going to keep doing one or two lessons a week in the summer. They'll be on my YouTube channel, which is just my name, Kate Olson Burner. Or they'll be in the library portal for summer activities. You can access them either way. The only time I won't do that is if we're somewhere where there's not very good internet connection. Sometimes we go places in the summer where technology doesn't work very well. 
If that's the case, I would tell you in the preceding lesson. Now I can do another one. Then I can do something really cool and turn it and apply it on the other sides and gradually work my way to the middle. Okay. Here we go. And I don't like my lessons to be too long, so I'm going to ask you to do some pretending. You're probably used to that by now. Again, find a new spot. Okay. There. And I'm going to do this again. Okay. I never blow the chalk because it becomes airborne. And if anybody in your house has asthma, it could hinder their breathing. Now I'm going to do it this way, and I'm going to switch to this one because I want to be faster. Here I did a red one and an orange one. Then you can turn it around and you can work on the other side. And where your colors overlap, you can either leave it white or you can go ahead and fill it in with chalk. Again, you're the artist, you decide. There's always many, many, many ways to do every lesson I teach. And you can do it the way you choose. Part of art is being creative and finding your own voice. There you go. Okay. So there. Now imagine I kept going until it's all filled in, which is what I did in this one. That's why this one looks different than the other ones. Okay, boys and girls, happy last day of school. Tune in over the summer a couple times a week so you don't get rusty. Got to keep your art juices flowing. I miss you. Bye-bye.